everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel, Dragonfly Bees Resale Journey. This video, I am showing some new items as well as bringing back some previous items that I showed in the last video sale and offering them at uh, clearance prices. So let's begin. Oh, you may have seen the preview that I posted prior to this, so uh, um, you'll know what to expect. And if there's time, I'll add additional um, items. So let's begin. This is item number one. It is a smoky quartz beaded toggle necklace, and it measures about 23 inches in total length. And uh, it's like a brass tone. There's the toggle, very nice. The bead spacers have the swirl design, and there is the smoky quartz. Really, very pretty necklace. And this is item number one. Item number two. This is a very long strand. It, the beads are pink adventuring. Uh, and there's pewter findings. I noticed there's no clasp, but it is um, on this end. There are these two beads. So I believe this is the back, or should I say the top of this necklace. And um, this has a 16 and a half inch drop, which makes this a 33 inch total length necklace. Uh, pink adventuring. I know some people call it strawberry quartz, but I think strawberry quartz is a bit pinker. <laughs> um, pink adventuring is basically produced by um, tiny flakes of lipidolite mica that is uh, inside the quartz. So that gives it the uh, pink color. So let me bring this close. In this camera, it kind of looks peachy, but it is more of a, yeah, it is a pink, like a very dark, paler pink. And here we have it one long strand item number two okay item number three this is a silver plated over brass necklace made up of larvakite and moonstone uh it has a 12 inch drop which makes this a 24 inch total length necklace I did not find a clasp. Hmm. But let's talk about larvakite. Uh, I, I will bring it in close so you can see what I'm talking about. If you look at this, there is some, you see that flash? This does flash like labradorite. And it's often mistaken for it. You see that? But it's actually a unique type of um, manzanite. And it comes primarily from Norway. Larvik Norway, to be precise. And there's a, a bluish silvery flash to it. This is actually the na uh, natural <coughs> crystal of, uh, of Norway. And it's a really rare stone from Norway. This is also known as black moonstone or black labradorite. So this is called larvikite because it came from larvik, Norway.
pretty cool, right? <clears throat> I think so. So we have this item number three. Yeah, item number three. Moving on, moving on, and there you go. Item number four is this beautiful mother of pearl horse pendant. It is on this necklace, which I believe is um, some type of, hmm, some type of semi-precious stone. It did not test as glass. This did test as precious metal. This is really sweet. It has um, this type of toggle, which looks like a stirrup. Uh, and these are sterling silver. The bale is pewter. That's the back of the pendant. And the length of the drop measures 10 and a half inches so this is a 21 inch necklace the horse pendant the height of it measures two and a quarter inches so we have this very very unique really nice horse pendant necklace with with sterling silver toggle clasp You go item number four item number five this is a clear quartz necklace and um, it's quite unique there there are raw raw carved rosettes and then there are these clear beads that um, look like leaves and there's a hook closure which tests positive for sterling silver and the length of this is oh seven and a half inches in drop so that makes this a 15 inch necklace you, um, you may want to add an extender to it I do have extenders um, I believe from my last sale still available uh, and looking at it close it's it's really unique but I did notice on one of the leaves that there is a flaw and I think it was one of these on the top if I can find it now that I I think it's that one um, that I found like a little, I'm trying to feel to see where it was. I mean, they are polished and smooth, but one of them did have, aren't they great? Uh, one of them did have a, um, maybe a chip. Was it this one? Well, I knew there was one. It's just really, unique and the funny thing is when i tested it on the presidium uh the raw ones jumped all the way up to um spinel <laughs> so i'm just gonna say that this is definitely a semi-precious stone that is you know i, I hardly see clear carved beads like this. So we have this one, item number five. Sold as is um, with one of those leaves having a I think it's like a like a chip of some sort. But it's not broke. It didn't break. It's not broken through. It's just on the edge. And let me see if I can find it and I'll show you. Okay, so looking at it closer, I'm referring to these little, um, you see the white spots? Those are like little flea bites on the raw carved rosettes. And um, here's like a little, here's, here's one right there, that little tiny white dot, as well as on here. So that's what I'm talking about, as well as, um, 
Let's see. Let's see. Um. Oops. No, I just wanted you to um, really see this close up so you know I'm um, uh, basically disclosing everything possible. And if I miss something, um, it was not intentional. So we have, whoops, let's, um, here you go. Uh, item number five. Item number six, aren't these pretty? They're matte gold tone, leaf clip earrings, and they're unsigned. But I think they are so nicely made. Even the back is textured. And um, they're super clean. You see that? And I see no maker's mark whatsoever. But I love this beautiful detailed workmanship on this. So we have this very nice unbranded uh, leaf clip on earrings. Uh, item number six. Item number seven. These are also clip on earrings. They're open work, flower design in gold tone and they are made by Sarah Coventry. So there you can see it. And what beautiful condition these are. And there on the clip, it does say Sarah Cove. And uh, super clean. Sarah Coventry, floral, gold tone. Clip on earrings, item number seven. Item number eight is this beautiful Whiting and Davis mesh evening bag. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, it measures about, let's see, five inches at the widest on the bottom and uh, about four and a half inches high up to the top of the kiss lock. Gold tone mesh. There it is. It has a nice little wrist handle made up of these detailed, look at that, detailed gold tone links. Here is not, not bad condition. I believe I got this from Steven of Sugar Vision at one time. Now here's the inside. It has a very nice fabric interior. And uh, there you see the maker's mark. Let's see if I can show you close. Whiting and Davis. I think I could see it better without the magnifier. Um, Whiting and Davis. And then it says mesh bags made in USA. And it says exactly the same on the other side with a number 2892. So we have this really sweet, very nice Whiting and Davis mesh bag evening purse. And this is item number eight. Back to earrings, item number nine. These are vintage clip-on earrings. They have that textured design, leaf design. And then there's the polished outline, including the center stem. Here's the back side. They are marked Jomaz. Jomaz, Jomaz, right on the clip great condition and when you open the clip there's even some sort of patent number um, marked right there is the back of it. it has that textured design 
so we have these really sweet textured and polished leaf clip-on earrings by Jamas. More earrings, more earrings, but this time these are screw back earrings. This is item number 10. Looking at these, um, they're open work flowers, open flowers with the emerald colored rhinestone center and each of these petals have two clear rhinestones on them. Looking at the back side, I mean, these are really um, kept in great condition. There's the screw back, but they're unsigned. So we have this pair, item number, item number 10. Item number 11, these are vintage Trafari clip-on earrings. They are in this really pretty floral design with um, clear rhinestones. And yeah, they look like uh, flowers of some sort. Uh, on the back, it is marked Trafari in uppercase with the copyright on the clip. They're in excellent condition. Here's the clip, that iconic clip shape for Trafari. There you go. And I guess they would be worn like so because the clip is like so. Yeah. So we have this pair of vintage Trafari clip-on earrings, item number 11. So at this point, I think I'm gonna bring back the items that I showed, showed to you in the last uh, video sale and offer to offer them at a um, lower price than the original price I asked for. So let's move on. Item number 12. This is an opal sterling ring. Look at those beautiful opal cabochons. And that flash on them is pretty nice. This ring is made up of five bands. The top and the bottom have kind of like a bypass pattern. The back is a nice size. It is marked 925 on the inside. It's open back. And this is a size eight and three quarters. Item number 12. Item number 13. I still have this beautiful clear Lodolite beaded necklace. There is some weight to it. And look at those bead spacers. Yeah, they are faceted garnet. Beautiful faceted garnet beads in between. There is a sterling silver clasp. Unfortunately, this necklace was never completely finished because look at those jump rings. They belong on these sides. So it was sold like this to me. So I am selling this like this to you. <laughs> item number 11. No, I take that back. This is item number 13. Item number 13, clear loader like garnet bead, sterling silver clasp necklace. Item number 14 is this sterling silver, look at this, chakra pendant. It's so nice. Uh, it measures about two and three quarters inches high, including the bail. I placed it on a simple 18 inch sterling silver chain with a spring ring clasp and it is open back. There it is. So we have this beauty. Item number 14. This is item number 15, another lower light beaded necklace. But besides having the sterling silver clasp here, these bead spacers are also sterling silver. These beads are more of a plum tone. There are some terminated, terminated ones 
as well as clear ones. So this is a really nice necklace. Uh, and it has an 11-inch drop, making this a 22-inch necklace. So, so you know, for folks who, who, who may uh, have one of these Loderlite necklaces, comment below. Tell, tell others how you... Um, uh, what you think about it. <laughs> Moving on to number um, 16, I guess. So this is number 15. Item number 15. Okay, item number 16. This is a sterling silver labradorite cabochon ring. Has a very nice design on the sides, which is open work in the middle it's marked 925 on the inside right there so we have that one number 16 number 17 is a turquoise sterling silver ring native american style this one measures in at seven and a half there you have the triple band which then ends off in a single band on the back um, yeah there's some slight very slight scratching on the back of the band beautiful design gorgeous turquoise this is also marked on the inside let's see what that says Hmm. Hard to tell. S T E R, I think. And this one is item number seventeen. So we have Item number 16 and 17. Item number 18, another Lodolite beaded necklace with the sterling silver clasp and sterling silver bead spacers. This one has more of um, greens in it um, and plums. And it's a slightly longer than the, the previous one. This is a, this measures in at 11 and a half inches in drop. So we have this one. You even have the rutilated quartz right there. So this one here is item number 18. I, item number 19, this is a rose quartz toggle necklace, double strand. The bead spacers are pewter. This has a nine inch drop. Really, very pretty. So we have this one, item number 19. Item number 20, this is a cornelian. These are cornelian. Uh, toggle necklace. This is a pewter. And this is copper. Holding a enamel butterfly. And uh, yeah, there's pewter findings in here. That's what I meant to say. This measures uh, 18 inches in total. So we have this one. Really pretty. Here's the back side. So the back side is smooth and flat, and the top of these panels are slightly rounded. And then let's take let's take a look at the uh, the butterfly. Here's the butterfly. Very nicely enameled piece, which I'm sure can easily be taken off if you don't want to have it attached. And you can wear it. What does that say? Oh, there was some something on it. So we have this um this necklace number item number 
Item number 21. This is a, I was told how to pronounce it correctly uh, because I pronounced it wrong in the previous sale. It's um, Breciated Jasper, uh, Black Onyx, Faceted Beads, and Pewter Findings. It's a toggle, toggle necklace. It has a 11, 11 and a half inch drop, which makes it a 23 inch necklace. But look at the carvings. Isn't this nice? Kind of has like a brownish red tone to it. And the onyx is nice, nicely faceted, which gives it that shine. So we have, we have this one, number, item number 21. There you go. Okay, next up we have these beautiful semi-precious beaded necklaces. The first one has some wooden bead components. Really pretty colors. This has a enlarged spring ring clasp. The drop on this is 11 and a half inches long, making this a 23 inch length, total length necklace. And this is item number 22. The next one is item number 23. That is a beach glass pendant necklace. Nice round beads with some very ornate bead spacers. This one has a hook closure in silver tone. The drop on this is 10 inches long without the pendant. Item number 23. There's a little scratch on that pendant on one side but it looks okay on the other side. Um, the beads are amazing, like marbles. <laughs> uh, item number 23. And then the next one is a super long one. This one is a beautiful long strand with a barrel clasp. You have these brass bead spacers and the length of this one is 34 inches in total. So that has a 17 inch drop. And look at these. You have the um, nuggets as well as some round beads in different sizes in between, as well as those brass bead spacers. So this is item number 24. Okay, um, maybe a couple more pieces coming up. So let's, uh, let's continue. Item number 25, this is red aventurine, carved flower beads along with faceted onyx as well. Um, similar to the one that I shown previously, along with pewter findings. This is a toggle. So this one has a drop of 11 and a half inches, making this a 23 inch necklace. Let's show it to you close up. And there you have it. Item number 25. So that's a wrap on this jewelry sale. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below, tell me what your thoughts were. If there's anything you would like to purchase, email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. Instructions are in the beginning of the video after my intro. I also include them below, always in the description box. If anything sells, I create a sold list and it is a pinned comment. That way you'll see it always posted first and subscribe if you haven't already these deals are for my subscribers only ring the bell choose all notifications that way you'll be alerted when i post my next new video or any other type of content and thank you 
thanks everyone for spending some time with me today and I will see you really soon. Bye.